What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hotline Miami. So, uh, we finished recording last time, and it's been a few weeks, and so, uh, basically, if you didn't catch that last bit of that last level, uh, we did it, and it turns out we're in a coma. <laughs> Yay! Look at me in a coma. You sure are in a coma. I'm combing all over the place. I should get a- I should use a comb, I'm in a coma so hard. Mm-hmm. We got the perp. Eh. Man, everybody looks so crazy in this game. Everyone does look super crazy. Okay. Oh, I got out of my coma. Let's and break out this window, he. Go out this window. And down the hallway here. See, look, there's a cop waiting for me. Because I killed a bunch of people. I don't know if anybody remembers. I was gonna say, couldn't we have just gone out our door if we were gonna go into that hallway? There, there we go. We go. <laughs> He's not that smart. No, I just That's needed to go out while he was reading his paper. Is that what we needed to do? Ah, crap. Ow. Does he look down from his paper every once in a while? That looks, that's what happened? Oh, yeah, okay. there we go. That's when he, when he flips pages. And we're good. Go. Whoa, whoa, okay, it's all cool, it's all cool. When you move, is that what causes the fuzziness? Something like that, yeah. Oh, cool. Which kind of makes sense, because, uh... Because we were just in a coma? <laughs> yeah. Ow! Okay, how do I... How do I four to get out of here? It's like a question. Down, perhaps? Oh. Maybe it's this elevator. Maybe it's this elevator. Yes! Yeah, there we go. Before before things get too crazy, you want to hear a, a crazy fact that yes. I learned? Yes, yes. It has nothing to do with this game. Always. What do uh, an elephant, a whale, and a tree have in common? Uh, an elephant, a whale, and a tree all have in common. Mm -hmm. uh, your mom is bigger than all of them. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, true, uh, <laughs> but not the fact I was looking for. All right, so what is the actual fact? You can uh, you can cut them in half to see how old they are. Really? Yeah. So <laughs> it's not not 100% true, um, but I learned this the other day. You can uh, you can take um, a tusk that you found and you can cut it in half and count the rings. To see how old an elephant is. Ah. In particular, they referenced mammoths because that's how they were. That's how they were referencing how old dead animals were. Interesting. Um, with a whale, it's actually wax in their ears. It creates a plug oh, to keep the water out, and so every year they're alive, they like make a fresh layer of wax on this crazy ear plug. Weird. And you can take that out and cut it in half and see how old they are. Obviously, the whale would have to be dead, but. Otherwise, you'd be just an asshole. <laughs> How quit it? Yeah. Yeah. Cut them in half, count the rings, see how old they are. Just like a tree. Uh, that reminds me of another interesting fact. Do you know why elephants paint their toenails red? <laughs> to look pretty? <laughs> uh, no, it's so they can hide in cherry trees. <laughs> awesome. Oh, crime tape. Sweet. <laughs> Ooh. I, uh, I remember hearing that when I was little, but I couldn't remember the actual answer. Do you know elephants are the only mammal that can't jump? Really? Yeah. If they jumped, they would break their legs. They'd, their bones would just shatter. Well, they are... Huge? Really big. <laughs> All right. I feel like, uh, I feel like stuff's about to go down here. Wait, well, do we have an elephant mask that, that would feel very appropriate? Here we go. Rufus! I can survive, survive a bullet. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not a bad idea. Uh, How many dogs do you think we're going to run into? Because that one was pretty handy, but I don't think it'll be as handy these days. Uh, let's go with Ted anyways. God, I love the music in this. The music is fantastic. I mean, it really is great. Ah! Alright, well... Get back. It's been a little while since I played this, folks, so there might be some uh, might be some issues here. A little bit of ring rust. Ooh. How do I? 
<laughs> How do I do this again? Should we have checked the instructions? <laughs> ah! Wait, how do I... are you asking how you do things, or how a competent person would play this game? Because <laughs> those are two different things. I believe it's space to hit the molar down, isn't it? Yeah, I can't remember how to pick up weapons. Is it shift? I... You're the one who's been playing it. I I've think never it's played shift. this game. I apologize, folks. This is... This was unprofessional. <laughs> you should have picked Tony so we could start with a knife at least. <laughs> well, at least beat that guy down. There we go. Okay. One oh, down. Baton! There we go. Oh my god, that was lucky. So how'd you do it? Uh, it's, it's the other mouse button. <laughs> I well, wish, I wish I was joking, folks. I, I, I'm, I'm bad. I'm sorry. Not our, uh, not our finest moment, video game, wise, but okay. All right, <laughs> let's get some hyper violence going in here. You know what? The, forgetting the controls of this game, while <laughs> Duncan visibly jump when that happened. <laughs> that actually scared him. Um, forgetting the controls of this is one thing. Like, oh man, how do I pick up a weapon? This is this is crazy. Uh, at least you don't do it with important things. Like, how do I drive this car again? Well, we better get... <laughs> better head out of the road. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, right? No, I'm a competent driver, folks. <laughs> okay, this one's gas. Which? How do I stop again? <laughs> do I pull on the wheel really hard? Jesus, take the wheel! <laughs> Kim, how do I drive? Uh. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Whoo! I can feel my adrenaline pumping. Ah, such good music to get murdered by. Get murdered by. I'm starting to think the elephant might have been the right choice. <laughs> Still only one bullet. Yeah. I'm getting hit by a lot of bullets here. It's not good. That's truth. Yep. So by the time this is out, uh, Hotline Miami 2 will have come out, and it's. Presumably more absolute craziness, just like this. Yeah, I am looking forward to Hotline Miami 2. When I first played this game, and I know it doesn't look like I've played this game before, but when I first played this game, I uh, I, I did it almost in one sitting, Ugh. which sounds bad, but uh, I did it I did it in one weekend. I know that much. It it doesn't sound bad. It sounds stressful. It was that indeed. Uh, Oh, that was a window. I didn't even see that. You're out. Oh, that had no bullets in it. Oh, you picked up an empty gun. Oh, uh, I am... Oh, there are security cameras. Are I didn't there? even notice those, yeah. In the left and right corner of the hallway there. Oh, security cameras. Yeah, they're sweeping back and forth. I don't know if they do anything. Like, if there's a security office, but... I assume there is, simply because that guy rushed you, but... <laughs> oh, good! There's two downed police officers next to that door! I better... <laughs> <laughs> better go check it out. God! I, I just said it, but I want to say it again. The music in this is so awesome. Yeah, it's just great. Okay. Dude, that guy is very oblivious. Oh. I thought I was going to get that guy with the door. This is proving to be difficult. I wish I had a knife. A knife would be awesome right about now. You could... We haven't done anything. You could restart the level and just pick Tony. Alright. Let's try... Let's try a different mask. Uh, I could get... No, that's nope, Fist, of, Fist Fury. of Fury. There is one that's... Start with a knife. What else? what else? Extra ammo. No longer... Uh, darkness. Good shot. A lot faster. Start with the knife. Go with the wolf. 
Hungry like the wolf. Yeah, here we go. Wait a minute, that's not a knife. Uh, maybe there aren't knives? Hmm. Hey, well. Well, you gotta get a weapon at least. And we forgot to close the door to the recording space again, so there's Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Well, lay down, big girl. Once again, Elsa's Duncan's dog. She's very large, and she's going to come and breathe very heavily. Yeah, because I said her name. And despite the fact that I told her to go lay down, she came here. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay, they can see... That's a desk. It's not walls. Ah. Okay, let's try to do this a little more fluidly. I like it. You should have clubbed that guy. I should have indeed clubbed that guy. I should have clubbed the crap out of him. No, don't eat Kim! Don't eat Kim! <laughs> oh. What a 20-year-old. Uh, this is really, really pathetic. I apologize, folks. I wouldn't say it's pathetic, but we are almost done the episode and we've gone literally nowhere. So it's sad, maybe. It's, <laughs> it is very sad. In your defense, that guy's gonna get back up, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in your defense, it has been a very long time since we played this, uh, and it's... We're nearing the end of the game, are we not? Uh, we're probably about two-thirds of the way through this game. Yeah, so these levels are probably harder than you... Harder than levels you should be playing, having just restarted. Definitely. If we were professionals, we would have let you take a couple practice levels. <laughs> and get warmed back up. Get warmed up just a little bit. Uh, instead of uh, instead of just throwing me into the deep end here. But that's what you get. But A, we're not professionals. And B, this is funnier. <laughs> this is funny. To Kim, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? It's, it's really skillful games. That guy's going to get back up for sure. Oh, no, he's got... Oh, yeah, no, there he is. Uh, it's really skillful games like this that probably drive people crazy to watch. Because it's like, he's not, he's not doing it in the order that I did it in. It's killing me. Um... <laughs> Also, I keep dying over and over and over again in sad, sad ways. <laughs> yeah, by making silly mistakes. Um, but there are lots of games like this that I'd like to play eventually on the show. Like uh, Portal 2, for instance. Which, if there was a brain cell in my head, I would know better than to... Oh, God. Than to play Portal 2 for an audience. Because um, you know they're just going to be upset. Oh, that was pretty close to, to getting it done. Um... But I still want to do it, because it's fun. And that kind of goes for this game. Yes, he's not doing it perfectly, but that's not really the point. Thank God that guy didn't shoot you and get a chance. Okay, I need guns up in her. Uh, I think you may need to kill... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Duncan is not an MLG uh, player. Like, he, this, this isn't something he does day in and day out, so... He's going to get back up. Yeah, so yeah give, is, him, give him a freaking break. This is not my day job. Uh, Charlie, I know you're angry. I don't know who you are, but I hope there is someone watching named Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, we can see you. I'm on to you, Charlie. I'm watching you right now. Look out the window, Charlie. Now I kind of hope there isn't someone named Charlie watching <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. To all the Charlies out there, we're sorry. No, not all of them. <laughs> just most just, of them? Just the one I'm talking to right now. <laughs> you know okay, I think I know what I need to do. I need to get myself a hold of a gun, I need to make some noise, and then before draw a bunch them of cops, into the doorway. I need to draw them into the doorway, I need to get a billy club. That's what I need to do. Ah, uh, yes, the old uh, duck and cover method. I like to call it stultzing. <laughs> How hard can I camp all these police officers is basically what I'm saying. Camping is a legitimate strategy. <laughs> I love me some camping. Yeah. We're from BC, so uh, yeah, camping is a big part of uh, our whole thing. Wow. Just... If you were the elephant, that wouldn't have killed you. 
<laughs> I mean, the next one that immediately followed it would have, but... Immediately followed. Let's be... Ugh. Steady. Steady. I have six shots. Ugh. And that's a window. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I'm sorry. My shame is so great. <laughs> it is pretty great. <laughs> I would commit seppuku, but I'd probably miss. <laughs> Shit like that it keeps you in my good books. <sighs> Yay! At least I'm in somebody's good books. It's true, now we can put this gun down. <laughs> Woo! It was making things more stressful, I'm gonna say. Oh, sorry. Right. Argue. Not to tell you how to do your job, but... <laughs> you agreed to this when you signed the contract. You threatened to shoot me if I didn't sign the contract! So? <laughs> Details, details. Oh my god. Wow. This room, this whole <sighs> room is just full of police. Sweet mercy. That, I don't know that that's the, yeah, <sighs> that's not the right room. You want to go in that left room at least, because they're at least not in front of the window. Cool. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna do different guy. Where's the guy that has the lethal doors? Oh. All right, Don Juan. Jeez. Jeez. Come back, door. My God. What? I just, you should have died like six or seven times there. At least six or seven. <laughs> I wish the doors would snap shut like they used to. Oh man, these are these are these are some lethal billy clubs up in here. Yep. Hey okay, Dunk, we're at uh, we're at 17 minutes, and okay. uh, nothing has happened. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it up to you if we release this episode. <laughs> uh, maybe we. No, people should see my shame. <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, you can continue watching Duncan's shame uh, next time on the action sofa. <laughs> <laughs>